Welcome to the Laravel's Collection Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collections class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Combine. In the simplest terms, Combine distributes one collection into another collection. Let's dive right in to show you what it does. Let's make a new array here called Keys, and we are going to collect it. And let's add column 1 and column 2. Now let's return and on that very same collection we're going to call the combine method on it. We are going to pass in an array and inside this array I'm going to pass in value 1 and value 2. And I want to show you the results of that. So as you can see we've taken column 1 which is in our very first collection and we've matched it up to value 1 which is the first entry of our second collection. Furthermore, we've taken column 2, which is the second entry inside the first collection, and matched it up to value 2, which is the second entry of our second collection. As you can tell, it created a combined collection of this first key matched to this first value, and then used this second key and matched it to the second value. Now, if we were to add another one, say column 3, and added value 3. Let's take a look at the results. So as expected, it drew yet another one. The third key get matched to the third value. Pretty self-explanatory. One thing to note about combine is that it does return a collection. So you are able to daisy chain other method calls to it. Let's call first, for example. If you're not familiar with first, first simply returns the very first value. And of course, in this case, we get value 1. I will remove this first call here and I'm going to show you a slightly different example. I'm going to remove this third value and third column that we added and what I want to do is I want to change this array to contain two arrays. So let's take a look at that now. Our first array is going to say value 1. We'll set value 1 to 1, 2, 3 and then let's repeat that and we're going to say value 2 equals 4, 5, 6. Let's take a look at this. And so there you go. We have column 1, which is this very first key, matched to the entire first array that was passed in. And then we have column 2, which is matched up to the entire array of this. Now you may have expected column 1 to contain two rows and basically have one called value and one called 1, 2, 3, but that is just not the case. Even if we added another one here and said value 3 equals 7, 8, 9, and we ran that, you're simply getting the column with an array of values. It will not combine past the first dimension. It only works on the first dimension of the array. 